Hey, what's up, guys? Explanation Pro is here. Today, I'll explain the crime drama film title Anonymous. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with the main character, Alex, introduces his family. They move out of Ukraine to start a new life. He says they have been having financial instability their whole life. Because of this, Alex decides that he should make money for himself. In every 1,000 clicks he does on a computer, they will compensate him $20. It's not much, but it was his first income. Alex then became more interested in the internet world. It has all the information he wants to learn. The financial crisis, the banks, the vulnerable security of the system, and the need for change. One night, Alex notices that his parents are fighting. To catch some air, he decides to go out and have some coffee. While watching the television inside a cafe, he learns about the criminal group Dark Web infiltrating the cyber world. When Alex goes home, he finds his mother crying. He asks her what is wrong. And she says that they might lose the house because she lost her job. Thinking of a resolution, Alex goes to his room and takes his stash of earned money and gives it to his mom. At first, her mom is skeptical about how her son got all the money. She also does not want to accept it when she learns it's supposed to be for Alex's college. Still, Alex insists that she should accept it because what matters most right now is not to lose their shelter. Alex is pissed at the bank that fired her mom, but of them, he loses all the money that he saved for years. Thinking about earning back the credits, he searches on the internet how to gain money fast, but also everything is a scam. Suddenly, he remembers the criminal organization Dark Web that he saw on the television and looks up for it. He wants to join the organization, but first, he must pass the test. One of the members of the organization says that he must be invited or do a criminal act first for him to be validated as a rookie. Alex thinks of someone he should victimize. He thinks of Randy, the bully of their school that is crazy about protein supplements. To be able to scam him, Alex creates a fake website that sells cheap supplements and Randy falls for it. He uses his father's credit card and Alex gets all the information. He gives this information to the dark web and they pass him the test. One of the members, Roosevelt, helps Alex to make more money. His first job is about black market trading. All simple. Roosevelt will sell him things, and he must sell them to get his cut. Alex enjoys this business, and everything is going well. In only four weeks, he already earns about $30,000. Alex decides to leave home and go to the big city and go to college. To sustain his money, he continues his business on the black market to earn more. One day, he steals an expensive watch on the black market. He cannot risk selling it on Craigslist, because there are so many cops and scammers. To test his luck, he goes to Chinatown to sell the watch. However, no jewelry shops are accepting the watch. Some are even suspicious that it is stolen. One man wearing dark sunglasses notices Alex. The stranger offers him that if he could sell the watches by more than 30,000, he would get a 30% cut. Alex agrees and gives him the watch. Interestingly, the stranger is successful and gives him the money afterwards. Alex becomes curious about how he successfully sold it. The person says that he will only tell him if Alex tells him how he got the watches. It is the night that he meets Sai. Sai tells him the secret on how to sell items successfully. They become partners in crime, earning so much money in a very short time. While going to university, he realizes that college is not the life he wants to live. He decides to continue his business with Sai, stealing jewelry and hacking credit cards. One day, one of Sai's friends from the club gives them a credit card from a foreign customer. She says it's a gift. Alex notices that this credit card has a lot of money. They make a fake ID and successfully withdraw from the bank without getting caught. One day, while browsing the dark web, Alex finds the bank that fired her mother is now on the vulnerable list. He wants to get revenge and attack them. However, he fails. As soon as he got in the bank to infiltrate their data, the security had a close look at him putting a parasite on the computer. Before escaping, the security guards came to Alex and bring him to the head of security to interrogate him. The security threatens to call the police if he does not say where he gets the software. Alex explains that the security of their bank is really weak and he negotiates that if he updates the software for free, the security will not report him to the police. Because of this, Alex becomes famous in the dark web. Even the creator Zed commends him. Because of his popularity, his friend Sai matches him with a girl for him to date. Her name is Kira, and she knows something about the dark web. Sai wants to make her part of the team. Interestingly, Kira has more knowledge of the dark web than them. She knows how to create fake credit cards, use Bitcoin, and use onion browsing. These are the things that Alex and Sai have never known before. Kira also has so many customers, she easily sells their item with such ease. She says that her uncle is helping him find clients, and she gives him cuts. However, as time goes by, Sai starts to have doubts about Kira. He says that it is suspicious for a girl to have so many connections, especially if she's keeping it a secret. Sai thinks that if she is so good already, why did she need to work with him in the first place? Alex thinks that Sai is overthinking it. One day, Kira asks Alex if he wants to go with her to Hong Kong because there were more opportunities there for their business. While lying down, Sai accidentally overhears this conversation. He becomes much more suspicious of Kira. It is time for their biggest deal of their team. Kira easily finds buyers that were willing to buy all of the items in the truck. 
Before finalizing the deal, Sai steps in and talks to the clients. He says that he wants to build trust, saying that it would be okay if they do not want to buy all the items. Sai wants to build trust with the clients for them to be loyal buyers in the future. Kira disapproves of this and says that the buyer should buy it all, or it would be no deal. Kira and Sai have a heated argument, and Sai has been saying to her all the things he is suspicious about. Alex goes to the head client and touches him. The client does not like it and takes his gun. The client fires at the air to warn them. He says that the deal is officially off the table and if they try to have a deal with other people they know. He assures him that it would lead to chaos. One night, they notice that a cop is inspecting their truck. Luckily, it goes away without doing anything. Alex thinks that they are not safe anymore in the city and proposes that they move for their safety. Sai says that he wants to go to Hong Kong. Kira and Alex have already talked about it and easily approved it. Hong Kong became their new home. Alex hopes that their business will come down a bit upon coming to the city. They continue their business, selling and buying jewelry, computer, gadgets, and other things. They are making a lot of money, but Alex feels like they're not moving on quite fine. Aside from making money, Alex also wants to challenge the system. He is getting bored of all the same business they are doing. One day, when Sai goes home with a lot of money, he brings it to prove that he still has the skills to buy and sell stuff. When he reveals what credit card he used, Alex becomes furious because he specifically told Sai not to use that card. Alex says that Sai is becoming a threat to their security, and he wants him out of the team. Sai agrees and leaves the house peacefully. He says that their team used to be fun once, and now it is all chaos. To catch the attention of Zed, the head of the dark web, Kira suggests that they should attack all the ATMs in Hong Kong. Upon doing it, they can steal about $2 million worth of cash. After hacking the ATMs, they leave a piece of paper with a print of the logo of the dark web. The government officials notice this and say that they will do everything to catch the criminals. Their plan is successful. Although one night, Kira says that she does not want to be part of the team again. She says that the reason why she wants to quit is that she wants to rest for a while. Alex thinks this is ridiculous. While arguing with Kira, he notices that Zed promotes him as an underboss in the dark web and commends him for what he has done. Alex demands to meet Zed. At first, Zed was not convinced until Alex said that it could involve billions of dollars. They meet Zed in some big warehouse. It is very secluded and secure. Inside there, they meet Zed sitting in a wheelchair. Zed says if they are willing to cooperate, they should not make any mistake because he will kill them and all their families and friends if they do. That same day, after the meeting, Sai leaves a voicemail on Alex's phone and says sorry for the trouble he caused, and he wants to have a second chance again to be part of the team. He is at the hotel waiting for Alex and Kira. However, some unknown strangers start to raid their house. Sai is in danger. When Alex and Kira get home, they find Sai in the bathtub, dead and lifeless. They realize that this is the doing of the Colombian man that they have been stealing money from. If it were not for Sai, Alex and Kira would be the ones dead. After the death of their friend, Alex still chooses to continue the job with Zed. Alex has a team now, and they are attacking the market system. Their first move is to impersonate and fakely kill the Federal Reserve Chairman. After the fake murder, the team immediately spread articles in the media stating the Federal Chair was shot. All the wealthy men panic as the market has started to go down. All the money that the team stole was divided for Alex and the whole dark web. That same day, after the successful plan, unknown agents have started to catch Alex and Kira. The agents bring Alex into an unoccupied building. Before leaving him free, they destroy his laptops and other gadgets. Alex does not know who these people are and why they attacked him. To look for Kira, Alex flies to Thailand to meet her in the place they promised. Days have passed. Kira is not there. He feels alone. One day, he decides to go to the internet cafe to check the internet. He uses one of his fake credit cards as a mode of payment. He learns on the internet that the state agents have defeated the dark web. Zed was captured and the state agents killed Kira. The staff from the internet cafe calls the police to report him for using a fake credit card. Alex becomes in prison for two years. In his days spent in the prison cell, he thinks about getting his simple life back together. After his release from prison, he sees Kira outside the building waiting for him. She is still alive and tells him the truth. Kira's suspicious uncle is really from the CIA. He uses Kira to get closer to Alex and make him do things to make his rank higher in the dark web. All the schemes, the clients were all part of the plan. The CIA aims to get closer to Zed and to end the criminal organization and they are successful. The state agent successfully tracks Zed's location with the help of Kira working with Alex. The dark web has come to an end, and these two young hackers have flipped their life from chaos to integrity. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.